Six years ago, this small town surf life-saving club was dangerously understaffed. We we're having a lot of trouble meeting our patrol obligations here on the beach. But a simple roster change has almost quadrupled their volunteer numbers. We were so surprised at how successful it was. It essentially left us with no gaps. The Bermakiwi Club now lets members choose when they patrol. With the roster, I got to choose my dates that I preferred. Um, so I made sure that most of my patrols were during uh, the school breaks. The retention's much higher too because if people have been given a choice about the times that work for them, then they're far more likely to work to be there as well. Formal volunteering numbers have been on a downward trend Australia-wide since 2019. Between 2020 and 2023, rates across New South Wales declined by more than 5%. Bermagui was the first surf life-saving club in the state to let volunteers choose when they patrol. Other clubs have since adopted the change. Organisations that are successful are the ones that are willing to be flexible with what they expect from their volunteers. Advocates are certain that the motivation to volunteer is as strong as ever. Our research shows us that the number one reason people want to be involved is to help. Um, so people are out there, they want to help. It's just a matter of finding a way to utilise them and keep everyone happy. And this little surf life-saving club has found a way to do just that.